The sun is both their enemy and their friend. Without the sun, there's no salt. So salt harvesters have to get up early. If we start at 5 in the morning, then it's a bit cooler, at least until 10 a.m. And the water's cooler, too. By evening, the water can be 70 to 80 degrees Celsius. It's exhausting when the water turns to steam right beneath your feet. Dario Krishnan often starts work when it's still dark out. Salt harvesters rely on the sun, but after 10 in the morning, it's too hot to work. And harvesting salt by hand is backbreaking work. Here in Piran, they've been using the same techniques to do it for 700 years. After just a few hours, the sun has risen over the top of the hill. Suddenly, it's scorching, with temperatures approaching 40 degrees Celsius in the shade. But there's no shade here. My grandfather worked the salt pans. When I was a boy, he always told me it was good, hard work. I internalized that, and that's why I work here. Dario used to work in an office, but he can't imagine doing that anymore. This is his life's work. He presses on, filling one trolley after another with salt. Each weighs nearly a ton. The short incline at the end is especially brutal. When it gets to be too much, we usually help each other. We can all manage the first two or three trolleys on our own. But when it's more, you just don't have the strength to get up the hill. But the hard work pays off. The harvesters end up with a premium quality salt. The crowning glory is the top layer, called the fleur de sel. The scent is wonderful. You should try it. It's called fleur de sel. The fleur de sel is the first salt that collects in the pans. It's like ice on the surface of the water. We harvest it with special nets. That's what Dario Zhao is doing. He's been the production manager at the Piran Salt Works for 25 years now and is a real expert. Fleur de sel is delicate and has to be harvested with care. And you need to pick exactly the right moment to harvest it. Any later, and the sun spoils the flavor. Zhao's family has worked the salt pans for four generations. It's always been hard work, then and now. You have to really want it. But if that desire is in you, you can do great things. But even a true passion for the work can't overcome market forces. The global market is dominated by cheap, industrially produced salt. Piran is feeling the pinch. 20 years ago, production was twice what it is today. But now, they're producing a niche product. We see our future in uh, gourmet programs all around the world. Uh, our products are used by best chefs, chefs and also by people who uh, give something on quality of food they eat. In recent years, the workers here have been able to boost production and sales again. And they're still trying to create new market opportunities. Right next to the salt farm, there's a spa that offers the lasso treatments. Everything from salt scrubs to mud treatments to relaxing baths in salt water. Here, salt is a luxury product. Salt treatments are very popular. A lot of clients have started to come from abroad, from Italy, Austria, and other countries. But the salt farm no longer makes a profit to speak of. And there are limits to how much they can produce because customers want reliable delivery. Last year, the weather was the worst it's been in 50 years, and production crashed. 
If salt sales don't go up, then quite honestly, this won't be a secure job anymore. I'm sorry to have to say it, but soon we won't have enough work to give jobs to future generations. But Dario and the rest haven't given up hope. Salt harvesters are a hardy bunch and determined. It's not just a job for them. The salt is like our creation. People consume it, and that's a satisfying feeling. The more beautiful the salt, the more satisfaction it gives us. Dario says a salt harvester can spend 40 years on the job and still learn something new every day. It's an age-old art, and he's doing his best to keep the tradition alive.